from a very early age, I was fascinated by fantasy, cinema, and drawing and playing with clay. And I grew up on a steady diet of creature feature. I just couldn't wait to get home from school every day and sculpt and create masks and little miniature monsters and everything. It was just a wonderful time. My name is Jordi Shell, and I'm a creature and character designer for film and television. Originally, I'm from Philadelphia. I moved out here in 1989 to pursue this work in Hollywood. LA is now essentially my home. I met my wife here and I have made a lot of great friends here and my career has done very well here. One of the challenges of the creature designer is to homogenize these various influences into one cohesive creature and character. So you might take some elements from a fish or a, an amphibian. You obviously are gonna take some of the human aspects and put it in there to make it identifiable to people, a face. And some things you're going to even draw on plants. Bringing all of these things together into a homogenous design is what a designer does when they're doing their job well. And it's something I strive to do every day. The reason fantasy cinema has become the leading moneymaker in film is because it's a real escape. It's the real thing. You can sort of escape watching a movie like Driving Miss Daisy or Ordinary People, but it's not quite like riding on the back of a luck dragon or being in a enclosed space with some deadly alien creature running through the vents. You know, those films are real escapes. It's space, it's fantasy, it's the future, it's the near future. I am very, very fortunate because I had parents who were extremely supportive of my creative endeavors. You know, if they were punishing me or grounding me or something, they might take away my TV for a week or two and I would miss Blood Splattered Bride. But they would never take away any art supplies. It was just, he's a creative person. He's gonna do what he wants to do in life. One night, I was looking at a newsstand on Shelton Avenue in Philadelphia, and there was a new magazine on the rack, one I'd never seen before, called Fangoria Magazine. I was like, what is this? And I opened it up, and there were full-color pictures in there of gory monster stuff, and I was just transfixed. When I was about seven or eight, a family friend took me to see a revival of the movie The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, which had stop motion animation monsters in it by Ray Harryhausen, who's a legendary special effects artist. That galvanized me probably more than any other thing I'd seen. It cemented my passion for fantasy cinema and making monsters. If the East Coast is kind of gothic horror, vampires, werewolves, Frankensteins, then the West Coast is more science fiction. I feel like it's a more alien world out here, literally and figuratively. This time of year that we're discussing all this, the winter, is my favorite time here because it gets very moody out here. There will be overcast skies and the mountains are misty in the distance. and There's just a whole different kind of eerie mood that falls over Los Angeles in the winter. And that's usually when I'm most excited to create.